What's up, YouTube? Erod212 here with another video. So last weekend, I was able to attend a flea market and a comic show in the same day. Let's take a look at what I found there. All right, so like I said, uh, got to hit a flea market first, then I went to ZapCon uh, in Wayne, New Jersey. If you've never been to Zap Comics, probably one of the best comic book stores in New Jersey to go to. Uh, he's at all the smaller local shows, and uh, Ben is just a great guy who always gives fantastic deals to the community and always has amazing books. Probably one of the more accurate uh, vendors I deal with, so I purchased from him quite a bit. Um, this show, it's more of... Um, $2 bins, $3 bins, $5 bins, dollar bins, uh, a lot of inventory, but nothing in there is the price that it should be. You know what I'm saying? So you're picking up five $10 books for a dollar or $2. So it, it, it's fun. I, I've gotten the passion for digging back in the boxes again, going through those long boxes, um, as my man TiVo used to say, and uh, it, it's fun. But uh, when I went to the flea market, let me show you what I found there. So I found this there. And this uh, first print of Strange Academy number one. Uh, lower grade copy, but still, how can you pass up this Shazam 28? Yes, that is the first uh, modern day appearance of Black Adam. Um, it has some damage to it, but uh, I got this for $3. And then uh, everybody knows this book right here. That's that. Scotty Young, Deadpool for Amazing Spider-Man. Um, another vendor who comes every once in a while. He usually sets up like towards Stormville, uh, watches the channel. Always, we have great conversations, but he had some really nice books. So I picked up uh, First Appearance of the Ox, Daredevil, what's that, 14? I'm sorry, 15. Daredevil 15. And a low-grade copy of Daredevil number seven, first red costume. On top of that, you got Prince Namor there. Uh, has a little bit of like a bug chew to the bottom corner, um, but probably like a 3.0. It has a, a, a tear to a 2.5 to a 3.0. Great, great book. And then uh, last book I picked up at the flea market was a pretty nice copy of Incredible Hulk number 340. That's that Todd McFarlane homage cover there. Um, Press this out. Uh, it might make the grade. I might send this in for the McFarlane signing yet. I don't know yet. I'm trying to send the highest grade books possible um, for McFarlane. And this is one of those big, big McFarlane keys that you want to get signed. So now that's the flea market. Not bad, right? But it gets better. So I decide I go to ZapCon. And this was a last minute decision. I forgot all about it. I should have bought my badges. Uh, they had early admission badges, but... The original ZapCon last year got canceled because of COVID. So it was a year and a half ago. Those um, pre-sale, you know, early admission badges have been sold out. But uh, got in and all the guys from the community there, uh, Nemesis Prime, No Good Comics, just quite a few guys from the comic community in there hitting those bins, man, just having a good time. And uh, I still found stuff. Everybody was finding great stuff. This is that great, great Joker cover for... Uh, 50, 50, 50 countdown. This is the 52 countdown. Um, Thundercats, number one. Jack Kirby, Sandman. Not, you didn't have number one, but you had issue number two. And Kirby goodness right there, issue number three. <sighs> Any Kirby fan knows that book. Um, Shogun Warriors, number one. Kazar, number two. I mean, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous Bronze Age goodness. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was number three. This is number two. This has Kazar and Shayna on top of Zebu. Uh, just good stuff right there. Love it. So Bronze Age FF. Dr. Doom on one cover and Submariner on another with the... Uh, Modern costume. It, it, you know, it's, it, it would be pretty cool if you got the Submariner to, you know, end of the movie, come out in this costume just as a homage type of thing. Uh, picked up this Patsy Walker, a.k.a. Hellcat number one, hip-hop variant. 
Picked up the Rocket Raccoon, number 11, Scotty Young. In Hook Lee, um, Silk, number 4, variant. That's a gorgeous cover. And uh, Iron Fist, number 1, uh, hip-hop variant also. Uh, Thor, God of Thunder, number 1, Isad Ribic. Gorgeous cover right there. This would look really nice with an Isad Ribic remark on it. Um... Thor, number five, the variant. And this is the first appearance of Lady Thor. And then this this was like, wow, I couldn't believe guys had not grabbed these. But um, there was just a, you'll, you're going to see, but there were Tomb of Dracula's in there. There was pride, like if you're a set collector, and this is such a great read. But Tomb of Dracula number 54 was there. Number 53 was there. And that's an appearance by Blade. Uh, issue number 49. That's the Frankenstein monster on that one. And as you can see, you have all of these horror genres, you know, running through there. Uh, issue number 46. Issue number 41, Kids Trick or Treating as Spider-Man. Um, issue number 36. Love this cover right here, issue number 34. Issue 31. Issue 26. What's that number? 32. Issue 24. Issue 21. I mean, Bronze Age, man. That's just classic Bronze Age Dracula. How about this? Uh, this is the Mighty Thor number 21, but these were the Jim Lee X-Men variants. And that's the Jim Lee Sentinel. The thing is gorgeous, man. Whew. Jim Lee covers on this are, are really nice. And there's a magic one that was like an exclusive that you had to mail away to. But all of these, I actually have the full set because I, you know, me being that X-Men completionist and then some Jim Lee art, can't pass it up. Uh, Mighty Thor number two. This is the second print variant. Great Loki cover. And then you have issue 170 of the Uncanny X-Men. Uh, Callisto fighting Storm for the Morlocks. Issue 172 with Yukio, right? Uh, uh, Mariko, Mariko. I'm sorry. Yukio's later on. And 175, that double... Uh, Double size anniversary issue right there. With Dark Phoenix up there. And then who doesn't want a great Doctor Doom cover issue 197. And Imrod. In the bins. Great stuff. He had a couple of war books. So I took a couple of his war books. Uh, X-Men 24. That's the kissing issue. Great, great cover. Wolverine Origins number 10. Uh, this is the or first appearance of Wolverine's son, Dokken, as we all know. This is the two-claw, not the three-claw variant, but this is the two-claw issue right there. Great, great cover. Um, and, and Having this conversation at um, King Kong, and I was uh, explaining to somebody, somebody thought that this was tanning. But when you see this cover, right, you see that browning around the uh, label there, and you're going to see brown spots throughout the, the cover. That is not tanning or foxing on this book that is the way this book was made that is the cover scheme that they use on this book so just be aware of that because you might be able to stealth buy this book because somebody thinks that they got staining on it all right so just a little comic wisdom as we used to say all the time so hashtag comic wisdom there and then uh, the last book i bought there shout out to my man nemesis prime because he came up to me he's like yo eat there's a book there you might want to take a look at I was going to pull the trigger, but I decided not to. So I wanted to let you know before somebody else grabbed it. I went there, took a look at the book, took a look at the condition, looked at the pressable defects, and pulled the trigger on it. And picked up, boom, that bad boy right there. Clone Wars number one, first appearance of Ahsoka Tano. Pretty high grade book. This is a nice, nice copy. Um, super happy. Again, shout out to my man. That was his prime. Shout out to Zap Comics for running a great, great show as always. Um, 
Attack on Tuesday. Make sure you're on there. Check out, because uh, I'm going to be bringing fire books as always. And uh, there's a link in the description. So uh, if you're a first-time purchaser, you can get $10 off of your first purchase. So I think that's pretty cool. And uh, just check out the end of the video, Express CBP. Hit me up if you need anything done, any work done. Hit me up on IG, and uh, we can talk from there. All right? But until my next video, peace. And make sure you check out these videos because there's some good content in here.